Good morning. Let me show you what I wake up to every day. This wakes me up almost every day now. So, this branch right here is actually dead and just kind of hanging in the tree. It's hanging. It's hanging just over this uh, this path. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this this branch at some point. Stay tuned for it. It's been a hot sec since you uh, last saw a vlog. Shh. I want to keep the window open, but it's very loud. Hold on. Hopefully it's quieter over here, but not really. Anyway, um, I'm no longer going to New York for break. I'm going to Maine with my friend, Sean. You'll remember him. I'll put His picture will be here. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll figure out how to do that. But, um, yeah, going to Maine with him because... We had a bro date basically on Saturday, and he was like, or we were talking about hikes we wanted to do, and I wanted to do Beehive, which is like a super famous hike there. And he was like, do you want to come to Maine? I have a spot in my car. So I said, yes. Yeah. Actually, this is a great segue. I didn't really have anything to talk about today, so this is, this is good. So I just got a really scary text from my friend Sean right after I was talking about how I was going to Maine with him in that... Uh, Basically, we may not be able to go because we don't have a car, so now I need to call my mom, and I called her, but then she said, hold on, I'll call you back, and then hung up on me. I'll get back to this point, I promise, after I figure out if my fall break trip is still on. Pretty disappointed in what just happened. I'll explain when I'm home and not, like, by all this, by all this noise. Let me explain. So the reason I order things to the Amazon store is not because I'm worried let me, let me be less forceful about this. No, I need to be this upset. The reason I order things to the Amazon store is not because I feel like things are going to get stolen from my house. I f order them there because I like to do the barcode scan thing where you're like, and then the, the thing's like, or actually, I guess it'd be like, right? And then your stuff's in this, in this drawer. I love that so much, so that's why I order things there. But, here, let me show you what I got. This yoga mat for, for acro yoga, and this pair of Bluetooth headphones because I don't have headphones, and anyway, I got those things, right? But they came in these huge boxes, and so it was available at the counter and not just in one of the things, like the boop, boop, right? So I was just really sad when I opened it and couldn't pick that up, and it was just, it was just disappointing because I just want to scan something and have it go, boop, you know? Anyway, end rant. So, I called my mom back er, earlier and then hung up on me, and it's been like six hours at this point, and she still hasn't called me back. So, Alexa, turn on the lights. You don't have any smart home devices. Jared, yes. turn on the lights. Yes, master. There we go. Maybe. Okay, so, it's now the end of the day. As you can see, this window is now dark. But, anyway, not the point. What I was trying to talk about earlier with Sean, or er, with, with, with saying yes to going to Maine, on every one of my social media platforms, the, the little quote that I can put in there is, saying yes is always more interesting. I, I mean, the quote's pretty self-explanatory. It's always more interesting, right? Saying yes isn't always necessarily better, but it'll, it'll be a more interesting thing, or a more interesting adventure to tell later, right? So Sean and I were at Harvest the other day, and he was just like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, you know, I haven't bought anything for New York yet. Or I called my friends and was like, sorry, I'm ditching my New York plan, and, and went for it. And I think... Hold on. These are dirty and it bothers me. A comment I get a lot is, Chris, you're really interesting, or you do a lot of interesting things, or you're just an interesting person. I get this from enough people that it's, it's not because I seek out interesting things. It's just because I say yes to enough things that I find things I like, and I try out 
everything at least once, right? Um, oh, there was another good quote recently that I read, which was... Uh, Hold on, let me find it. it by Virgil Thompson, and it was, Try a thing you haven't done three times. Once to get over the fear of doing it, twice to learn how to do it, and a third time to figure out whether you like it or not. Which I like a lot, because it's just trying new things, and that's like my favorite thing to do. Learning how to do new things is my favorite thing. I tried acro yoga, right, and I've started to do it more. I bought, that's, that's why I bought the yoga mat. We were on the oval the other day, and one of my friends who was helping teach me saw some people staring at us as they, as they were walking by. She said, oh, do you want to try? And the, the people responded, no, not in front of everyone else. And my heart broke a little. Um, because I understand it's scary to try things in front of someone else because you may make a fool of yourself, and yet I enjoy it, right? Making a fool of myself is one of the greatest things I can do because I learn so much from it. If I fail miserably and make a fool of myself, it's a better experience because I'm learning something. So much more than if I did something perfectly. This stigma against failing in public, I hate it. You need to fail to not have a fear of failing and the way you do that is you just say yes and you just go with it without a second thought yeah so that's that rant kind of made sense maybe I gotta pack some for this main trip now so we'll do that